I want minimal damage in here because this is our new house. Well, minimal damage to the house, I should say. To the zombies, we want maximum damage. Oh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I am an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we are going to go through the the first steps, anyways, of getting moved down to our new location. So the pl basic plan is is we're going to probably take a couple of workstations down there that we don't absolutely need to keep here for now, uh, like these two, for example. Uh, we're going to clear the house, get the land clean block down, uh, tidy it up a little bit, and um, you know get ready for uh, for probably what's going to you know be several trips uh, down there. Um, so let's start by uh, picking up. Uh, actually, before we do that, I'm in the process of making uh, more pallets and pallets of stone. Um, I can't make anything more than just stone pallets and wood pallets at present. Everything else requires a skill that is gated behind something. I'm not sure. Uh, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, what it is. So um, I have one more. Uh, you know, this is basically all the stone that I have left. So. We're um, getting this palletized so we can at least consolidate that. Uh, I don't really have enough wood to justify palletizing uh, the wood, but we are, like I said, we're doing uh, the stone. Uh, so let's just grab, like, say that much for now. Now, one of the traders, I can't remember exactly which one it was, um, had, uh, we want to do, yeah, we can do seven, that's fine. Had, um... The recipe for sham chowder and i want to grab that because i've got a whole bunch of of sham i got two, over two stacks of it uh, plus we got a decent amount of potatoes and corn um and you know it'll probably need the carrots and all that stuff but you know we, we've got all that and um that would actually at this point in time anyways be easier for us to make than the hobo stew uh, because the problem with the hobo stew is you run out of the spoiled meat and I'm not um, actually going to take the 4x anywhere until we do the move because I'm trying to be somewhat conservative on the gas. Uh, but let's check and see if we can figure out which trader had it. If we're lucky, it's this guy, but I just don't remember. So let's look really quick. Uh, yeah, he does have it. Cool. So we need 2,100 coin. That's a good thing because then we don't have to go um, out of town looking for that. Ah, oh, shoot. I left all the coin back in the base. Of course I did. Naturally. But yeah, so my plan is just make a whole mess of, of sham chowder and, you know, that should hopefully sustain us during the move so we can, you know, pull everything down and not have to worry about, you know, food while we're uh, doing our move. So we got plenty of sham, of course. It's really going to come down to how much um, here. In fact, I got some more things to sell anyways. Let's grab all that. You know, come down to how many veggies uh, we have. And, of course, I can go harvest the veggies in the garden. I need to do that anyway to see how many we can make. Okay, so um, Horde 77 went uh, re really well. I did not record that, and it's not because I, uh, did, I didn't do it on purpose. I quite honestly forgot to hit the record button. But if you guys are interested... In seeing how Horde 77 went, the first thing I will tell you is it was very much, in most ways, a repeat of Horde 70. Um, it, we were very successful. Um, I did die once, and that was my own fault. I died from my own explosive because I was too close to it. But the Horde itself never had a chance uh, against us. Uh, I only got, like, I think two levels. Yeah, we got two levels just because... Um, you know, I blow, blew myself up for one thing and, and, and I didn't have as many explosives as before. So we didn't quite get the levels we down to 70, but still it was a very successful night in terms of, you know, the base doing well and whatnot. And it is my intention to, um, continue to use this base probably for the next horde night or two until we can get, you know, well established down South and, um, you know, then come up with a, a new plan, you know, for whatever the base is going to be at that point in time. How much do these cost? Those are 10,000. Yeah, our coin, you know, we spent a hell of a lot of coin buying that Jeep chassis, and I have no regrets. It was a, it was definitely the right thing to do, but uh, we're, you know, we're not quite as wealthy as we were <laughs> earlier. I'm just taking a quick look and see what he has there. So, yeah, okay. I thank you, kind I thank you too, kind sir. Um, so we got the sham chowder recipe. Maybe what we ought to do, um, is go harvest the garden. Um, I'm just trying to be, 
I'm, I'm trying to be as efficient as I can in terms of space. Because, you know, we only have... What do we have in here? Uh, this much space. I don't want to stop and count it because we got zombies trying to eat us. I guess we'll take care of these yahoos. That all of them? Okay. So let's see how many sham chowders we can make with what we currently have on hand. And then... Um, I mean, one way or the other, we got to harvest the veggies anyways. It's just a matter of do we want to take them down on the, on the first trip. Uh, so what... Let's actually see what... Oh, gosh dang it, I forgot to sell my stuff. Uh, Alright, let's look at the recipe. Oh, I have to read the book first. Hello! There we go. Um, I, I wrenched a whole bunch of cars too off camera. Um, so we got lots of parts. And um, I switched to the auto shotgun that we found. I think we found that on the Horde Night, or maybe during the live stream, I can't remember for sure. But our other shotgun, you know, eventually wore down to where when I repaired it, it was pretty in pretty bad shape. Uh, so we switched to the auto shotgun there. All right, let's look at the recipe here. So what, um, I guess we have to delete, do that in here, right? Oh, is this, so, is this gonna require a stove? Sham chowder. Uh, no, we can we can do it in a click about. Okay, great. Um, so, oh, nice. So he, he doesn't require a bunch of extra crap. It's just the vanilla recipe. That is weird. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm glad that it's just a vanilla recipe, but I don't understand why he cha he doesn't change this one, but he changed the, um, uh, you know, the uh, hobo stew. My damn brain's not working. <laughs> okay, so that's good, though. Okay, so let's grab the eggs. Uh, or I'm sorry, the corn and the potatoes, and we needed water. And we're going to need to make some more water, so let's... Oh, let's boil... Uh, I don't want to boil a ton of water because here again, it's going to take up more slots if we do it, do that. Once we get all moved, you know, then, then things are going to be so much smoother for us, but we're not there yet, right? So, um, I think my coal is super low right now, too. I only have 73 pieces, so we better use some wood for the fire this time. I've been burning coal just because I've always had so much of it, but not quite so much now. All right, so let's make five. Nope, nope. Hold on, hold on. Let's make the boiled water first. Okay, so that's going to take two, about two and a half minutes. Um, hold on. I don't want to put too much in. Okay, so let's let that water finish boiling, and then we will queue up the, the sham chowders. So I'm going to put the rest of this down here. And sham chowder is really, really good food anyways, you know. Okay, let's put the wood here. Let's run back to the bob really quick and just sell this other crap. And then uh, the next order of business is deciding uh, what we're going to take down there uh, on the first run. I'm trying to uh, get all of the resources out of my forge here, so we're we're getting close. I mean, I'm, I'm making brass like crazy. I mean, we got so much brass, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Um, because if you combine, uh, what is it? I think it's zinc and copper. Uh, then you can make the brass here. Um, but we we got we still have all kinds of stuff. You know, still over four thousand brass to cook out of this because you know otherwise i'm gonna lose it so we're just gonna let that keep going and we have to keep emptying out because it gets full and actually you know what i might do is well it doesn't matter it's all got to get done so yeah one way or the other right okay let's wait we have 23 more seconds for that to finish and then we'll essentially you're going to be able to make 12 for now until i get some more potatoes because that's going to be the the, the choke point there okay so let's get 12 of these in our inventory but yeah if we you know if we can make a couple stacks of sham chowder that'll sustain us nicely um until you know until we can get moved all right very good so let's get the 12 going there and uh, we're probably going to need a little more wood too so this is going to take a total of seven minutes and 14 seconds So let's just make make it eight minutes. And we also have these bacon and eggs too. 
Uh, and we still have fish, you know. We got lots of canned food, but I'm trying not to eat the canned food because I want to save it for the better recipes. We got baked potatoes, but those I say like to save for um, uh, for mining. Um, so yeah, food is in really, really good good shape. We got a full like three full stacks of coffee and then some. Uh, maybe let's take one of these right now. And maybe we'll also snag. Uh, I still have a three bug kebabs left. So let's just take one of those to kind of top off our food here. Maybe we'll pop a potato too. Cloth armor repair kit. That's, uh, I don't know. That, I must have pulled that out of here. Okay, well, we're going to put it back there for now. The only reason I'm keeping that is so if we find a, a red cloth piece so we can repair it and get a little bit of bank for it. There's our first sham chowder. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is um, I might actually wait until morning before we we, we go. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, guys, overnight is I'm going to go harvest the garden. I'm going to pick up, uh, start picking up workstations that we don't need to keep here and loading up the 4x4 and, you know, do that overnight. And then when the morning comes, hopefully we'll be ready to go and we'll head on down to the new base location and uh, get move, start getting moved in. Really excited. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is morning, and uh, I am still working on getting stuff ready to go. Let's pull everything out of there and pop this into here, uh, which frees up this uh, storage crate. Because uh, we're going to need some storage crates once we get down there to store things in. I'm not worried about if they're labeled properly or anything like that for now. We're just gonna we're just gonna take what we can. Uh, let's go ahead and put that stuff into there for now. And uh, we're gonna grab this one too. Okay, so we still have a, uh, quite a bit of food in there. That's full, that's full, that's full. Let me check the brass here. All right, good. So it looks like we finally have everything um, out of here that we can get out of here. We can't do glass in this forge, unfortunately. So um, I suppose I probably could have made bullet casings instead with that, but whatever. No, actually, I couldn't have because um, this is all from zinc and copper. That's not from brass. It was already in the forge. So, All right, so let's put all this stuff in here for now. Okay, I don't think there's any more of these that I can take unless I consolidate. Can we put not those? I mean, I could probably consolidate a few more things. Oh, we do have room in this. Okay, here, let's do this. Let's pull everything out of here and put it in this other food crate. Try and get a couple stack things in there. Okay, so that completely fills that crate up. And then we have a little bit of room in here for the rest of this. So everything is going to be completely and utterly disorganized uh, for a little while here. But that's okay. Uh, one of the what we are going to take down with us right away is food just because I went and harvested the garden overnight and so the four by is loaded with food so I guess food's the first thing we're going to take down there uh, but I do have like two full stacks of uh, sham chowder and we're taking a couple of couple more stacks of coffee so we should have plenty of food and drink uh, during the move and we're just about finished doing pallets in fact we are finished doing pallets okay cool so let's put these in here Shut up, spider. So this is completely loaded with pallets, and then this has uh, more. I guess we could take this box, too. And we're just going to, like, kind of randomly store stuff when we get down there until we're fully moved, and then, you know, then I'll worry about organizing all the inventory and all that sort of thing. Um, okay, so how many boxes did that give us? That gives us four full-size boxes and one of the smaller boxes. Can we make a couple more? Yeah, we can. Um, um, here, let's um, 
get wood and nails. And I'm going to just, well, I don't actually want to pre-make a bunch of them because I'm not sure exactly what we're going to need. Um, and I do want to use these labels. So I, th I think we're going to just work with what we got for the moment. Because, I mean, a single box is the entire inventory of the of the four by anyway so we'll we'll be we'll have a lot more storage than what we're hauling down let's put that back in there um i guess yeah we can stack those in there and i think we're ready to go i think we're ready to head out well no we're not actually we, we can take a few more workstations with us let's let's just kind of see what space we currently have i also want to deal with this spider because he's driving me nuts Come here, dumbass. Where you at? There you are. Okay. All right, so let's put uh, all of this in here, and we still have we still have two rows. So yeah, we can take a whole bunch of crafting stations with us down there now. We might as well do that. Well, let's start with this guy, and I think we're gonna need the pick to pick that up. So let's start with this guy. That didn't work. Um, so how in the frick am I supposed to pick pick it up? Let's try this. So you know we're getting we're getting parts back from that. How are, are we supposed to use this? Hmm. All right. Hold on a second. Maybe we can't pick these things up. Oh, I'm being stupid. I'm being absolutely stupid. I don't have a, a land claim block down here. Oh shit. Okay. Well, let's um let's make one really quick. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. I was I, I have the you know the bed roll down, but not the land claim block. Um the blacksmith forge. Um that wasn't that expensive to make. I mean we can remake it. It's not it wasn't that expensive. So, yeah, that was my bad. All right. So, let's see. Stone, stone. I know I have some more stone. I, I haven't palletized every last piece of it. Here we go. Okay, let's just make a temporary land claim block so we can pick the rest of this stuff up. Can't believe I didn't think to do that. Now, this is going to disable the land claim block in our horde base, but I don't care. The sleepers in that place aren't that hard to fight. All right, so shoot, we we screwed up our blacksmith forge, and I almost screwed this up, but it's still okay. Let's re. We're probably gonna have to repair this now. Let's grab a hammer. And what are you gonna want for repairs? Leather, stone, and um. Uh, clay. Wait, what? We don't have enough clay? There's a full stack. There we go. Okay, so that's repaired again. And we'll just have to, like I said, remake our blacksmith forge but i'll worry about that when we get down there it's not that expensive okay so let's just put the land claim block down there's as good of, as any place okay now we should get the hand to pick stuff up there we go okay so now we got to think about what we're going to take down there it kind of doesn't matter i mean let, let's start with the workstations that are less critical so that way you know if i get back up here and i still need to make or craft something really quick we can do that 
Um, but, you know, we might be able to get actually all of the workstations because we have lots of room. So let's just see how it goes here. That does not give me the option to pick it up. There's nothing left in here, right? Okay. I guess we'll be making a new compost bin. All right, that gets all the workstations picked up. Um, still don't understand why we can't pick this one up. Maybe do we actually break this one? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, good enough then. Uh, let's see. We don't, there's not really anything in there that we need right now. So really the rest of it then is just going to be us hauling, um, you know, loot down. Might as well pick that up too, because why not, right? Uh, but it's going to take a few more trips, though, because there's a lot of loot to haul. So let's go load the Jeep up with this, and then we'll kind of see where we're at. Might as well pick you up, too. Okay, so that completely fills up the, the 4x4. And we still have a few more slots in our own inventory. Um, I'm going to chuck that just because it's... We don't really need to take that with us at this point in time. And um, I think we're pretty much good to go i mean we can like i said we could take it we can take a few more things with us in our own inventory so what do we want to take maybe we'll take some extra medical uh stuff so we'll do some splints some pills um some honey uh vitamins we'll take a stack of vitamins in case we need it and I don't think we really need to take any of the rest of this. Oh, yeah, let's get the steroids, too, or at least one stack of steroids for now. And I don't think we need to grab any of the rest of that stuff right now. Oh, I forgot. We emptied this out, so let's grab it. Okay, so we got that box. The rest of the food stuff's in here for now. Uh, we, let's keep these two slots open just in case we need them for something. And I think we're good to go. All right. Let's head on down south to our new place. Um, what I'm actually going to do is let's cut through. Th this terrain was a bit rough there. But once we get to this gravel road, yeah, I remember that being pretty rough there. Let's, let's actually see what it's like going through here. To get to here because this is pretty smooth and then maybe we could just kind of cut through here to get to this road which ultimately takes us down to our new house there um yeah okay so let's head towards the flag that man almost right to the front door it's a beautiful thing 
Okay, so let's park the Jeep here. Or the 4 by I guess I shouldn't call it a Jeep, but it looks like one. Got a bag from Edgar. All right, we'll take that stuff. Okay, cool. So, um, we obviously have to clear the house first, so we're going to do that. Let's take the land claim block in with us. Uh, I'm not really going to loot anything at all until we clear the house and get, um, you know, the um, land claim block down. And then, then we'll worry about looting and going from there. Oh, shit. Cop, get out of my house. This is my house now. Not your house. Oh, shit. Don't blow up. That would be bad if the cop blew up right on our, our 4x4 after all that work. That would be like rage quit time, man. I'll tell you what. All right. I got the attention of the neighbors. Hi, I'm your new neighbor. Have a sledgehammer sandwich. Except for that's not a sledgehammer, it's a machete. Well, it's not even a machete either, it's a kukri. You guys get the idea though, right? Okay. Get, get out of my car! You dumbass! What, what are you doing? Ronnie? Yeah, he did. All right. Man, if we're going to have cops in the house, we better have the shotgun ready. That was a little more than I had anticipated. I want minimal damage in here because this is our new house. Well, minimal damage to the house, I should say. To the zombies, we want maximum damage. Okay. Um, Who's doing what, when, where, and why? Okay, come over here. Okay, let's get a bleed on you. Is, is the zombies I'm here outside the house? Oh, yeah. Don't be banging on my house. This is my house. I claim it. It's been bought and paid for with my sledgehammer. Okay, so that takes care of them. Okay, let's keep this out in case we run into really bad nasties. There's probably going to be somebody in there. We already took care... Look at our kitchen, man. Isn't it awesome? All right. Let's see if someone pops out of here. No? Okay, no one popped out of there. We got someone over here. Anybody feral? You guys all walkers? Don't wreck my couch! And hold still so I can get a... Oh, shit! Get a bleed on you. Don't break anything. She rocked my couch, man. Damn it, Nurse Nancy. Busted things up in here, too. Frickin' zombies. Okay. I hear somebody banging on my house from the outside. Let's go investigate. Where is that? I did I did that to the gate, so that's my fault. Is it you? Okay. This guy might be trouble, so let's just deal with him. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring any more nine mils with me. Okay. The less we can have these guys tearing up the house, the less we have to repair later. I think that clears the ground floor, um, except for outside. So let's get the upstairs cleared. We're going to have a Zom in here. Come on, run out. Feral biker, shit. Oh man, the shotgun messed our house up. That's right. We'll get her all fixed up. Okay, here, here's the anyone here? Hello? Nope. 
Hey, quit banging on my front door. I hear banging elsewhere. Here, let's just go do the backyard too. We're going to have some Zeke's back here. Oh man, look what they did to my wall. Oh, right. I don't have any nine mils on me. Oh, we got a glower. Nice. That's going to be fun. And she's awake too. Well, that's what we have shotguns for. Can her radiation overcome bleeding? Well, I guess it can't if it just outright kills her. Okay, nobody's in here. Look at our new place. This is cool, man. This is going to be so fun. Can't wait. Can't wait to move in. Get her all cleaned up. We'll get this wall upgraded. So the zombies can't just break it at will. Eventually, I'll probably put some electric fences up, maybe even some, some actual turrets. Like, you know, shotgun turrets, not not auto, not the uh, portables or whatever the hell they're called. We still got somebody. It sounds like a, a crawler beating on something out here. Is this how you treat your new neighbors? They move into town? Is that how you guys are around here? Okay, he's dead. Wait, he's not a... He's just a normal, right? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so the entire outside, at present anyways, is clear. So, let's go back up here. Um, and just come through this way. Again, not worrying about looting right now. We should have someone in here. Check the garment bag. No, we're not looting right now. Well, we looted that. Uh, I want that. Don't care about this. We'll scrap it. Okay, we got to run across this fast. We might have a Zeke in here. Like a feral big boy. Okay. We're going to have a big mama there. There's usually some zombos in here. There's something up there. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think there's any zombies up here, but let's just double check anyway. Got the ammo pile and all that stuff. But again, I'm not going to loot anything right now. Uh, let's just go ahead and pop that out and drop back down here. Okay, so the house is clear. Now, for our land claim block, where do we want to put the land claim block? Somewhere out of the way. Um, we could maybe put it in this closet here, but I don't know. I might want to use that closet to store some stuff, put some storage bins. Uh, let's break this out. Yeah, how about we put the land claim block in here? Why not? Let's loot these cupboards first. Got some seeds. That's good. I'm just curious. What's behind here? That's the shelf to that other closet. Okay, I got you. I got you. So, um, if we put the LC block down here, it should cover the property, I think. Here, let's just put it down and show the bounds. I mean, it's not that expensive to make. I can make another one if I have to. Yeah, it covers all the way to the back wall, which is fine, because the only purpose of this land claim block is to prevent new spawns inside of our, our base. That's all it's doing. And it goes all the way out to here. And covers the front of the house. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We do not have to worry about spawns inside of our house. And nothing's going to spawn um, outside, you know, on the backyard. Now, it's my intention probably, I'm probably going to take this back wall out or at least 
make a doorway here and then um, do a garden on the on the other side of it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that. Oh, those are half blocks. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that back here or if instead we'll do it along the side. But in terms of respawns, I mean, nothing's going to spawn on the ground out there. But we do need to protect the garden, so I will extend the wall to protect it because I actually lost some seeds from our lake garden. Some, some zombies actually got into it and damaged some of it, some of the plants. And I didn't lose a ton, but, you know, enough to to be irritating. So, cool. All right, so land claims blocked down. Uh, lands. English, please. Land claim block is down. And so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to we're going to want to set up some temporary storage um, in a place that's somewhat accessible, but also out of the way so that we can, you know, do our thing. So maybe what we'll do is we could either I was thinking about putting the crafting stations in the garage because, you know, that seems kind of appropriate. And not, you know, not with the food stuff, but like the workbenches and all that. Um, we'll put all the food stuff in the kitchen, of course. And maybe we could also put some crafting stations out here on the patio. I like this this backyard. I, I want to spend time out here. And putting the crafting stations out in the backyard is what will cause me to spend time out here. If I put them all in the garage, then I'll spend all my time in the garage. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put the crafting stations out here. So what I think we'll do is... Um, maybe we'll temporarily line up all of our storage along the pool here. Um, and then we'll set the crafting stations up along the wall outside. And then I'll slowly, you know, just kind of move stuff around until it is, or in, you know, in an organized fashion to my liking. Ah, this is cool. I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be fun. So, yeah, guys, um, so I'm not sure when I'll bring you back. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to be working on the house and, you know, getting stuff cleaned up, get everything looted. Um, in fact, speaking of loot, why don't we, why don't we actually at least check the fat loose just in case there's something really extraordinary in there. But I'm probably going to be, do, be doing a lot of off work camera, mostly involving, you know, bringing stuff down here from our other base and getting moved down here. And I'll, you know, I'll bring it back probably for an update or two. Uh, as as things progress in that regard but um yeah let's just put these here again this is temporary these aren't going to stay here permanently it's just a place for me to you know store stuff until i i get everything situated um, but let's put all this in here we'll go check the fat loots really quick before i let you go uh, i don't want to put stuff in here that's my normal inventory And then I just have a lot of off-camera work to do here. Why aren't you sorting? There, hitting the wrong button. Okay, let's go look at the fat loots really quick, though. This is my new house, you guys. Isn't it awesome? Um, the fat loots are in here. We're going to want to redo this door anyway, so we might as well break it out. I'll we'll have to figure out which of these bedrooms will be the master bedroom. It might be this one. Um, but... Let's get our luckies on and see what we got in here real quick. Some soup stock. Some nine mils. Ammo pile here. Oh, look at that. A blue 38 special. Not too bad. Not too bad. How about a backpack upgrade game? You son of a... All right, let's check the fat loot's crate. All righty. That's kind of nice. 10% chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. Okay. Um, Most of my attacks, 90% of them are heavy attacks, so I'd prefer to keep the durability blade on my uh, kukri. Let's check this ammo pile. And guess what? There's ammo in the ammo pile. Who to thunk? Um, man, nah, I think I'm going to sell that. I mean, I will, if I use spares at all, which is highly unlikely, it'll probably either be pitchforks or steel spares, not iron spares. Okay, so let's grab that, and I think that is it for up here in terms of loot. We might come up here and repair this sometime, too.
We found a backpack in a trash compactor. Can you believe that? Backpack upgrade, that is. All right. Um, so this should open, what, three slots? Let's see. No, it opened four slots. Very nice. Wow, who'd have thunk in a trash compactor? Awesome. Okay, you guys, I'm going to let you go here. And like I said, I'm going to spend the next however long it takes to get moved down here. And I will uh, bring you back for updates, you know, as we go along. And uh, we'll go from there. But definitely looking forward to it. Um, let's see what's in the plug. Ooh, more ammo. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, guys, take care. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And send me a backpack upgrade in the mail, okay? Fed exit. All right. See you later. Bye.